evening, everyone. Good evening. It's another time in God's presence. Hallelujah. And I know you've had a very long day, and we thank God for you. We are streaming live from World Outreach Church for all nations. And we know that you are joining us this evening, and you are going to be blessed as we worship and praise Him. We thank God. We're still observing social uh, distancing, and we know that all that you're going to do here to this evening will bring praise and honor and glory to his name. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. In that same attitude, let's just lift up our hands and just bless the name of the Lord and exalt him because he is good and his mercy is just forever. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you for another opportunity in your presence. It's always a privilege. It's always a privilege to thank you, to come before your presence and give glory to you. Hallelujah. We bless you, Father. We give you all the glory. We lift your name. Hallelujah. The Bible says every knee shall bow at the mention of the name of Jesus. And we decree and declare the name of Jesus this evening. Hallelujah. Put your hands together and let's thank him. His 
name is Great Eli. I know his name. I know. I know his name. He's my healer. I know his my name. My deliverer. His name is Great Eli. I know his name. I said I know his name. Yeah. I know his name. Yeah. Oh, his name is Great Eli. I know his name. I know. I know his name. Yes. I know his name. Oh, his, his name, name is Great Eli. Eli. I know his name, yes, I, I know his name, yes, I he's my deliverer, I know his name, I know, I know his name, do you know him, I know his name, do you know him, he's my deliverer, I know his name, I said I know his name, yes. I know his name, yes, he's my deliverer, I know his name, yes, I know his name. In our we'll home, in our family, we lift up your name. Yes, Lord. We bless you, Father. Your name is higher. Your name is excellent. Than every other name. Your name is mighty God. Yes. We worship you, Jesus. We well, thank you, Father. That's who you are. Hallelujah. There's no other name but the name of Jesus. That name is worthy of glory. That name is worthy of praise. Thank you, Father. We bless you, Father. My hallelujah belongs to you 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 my Let's tell them all of our praises, all of our praises, all of our praises belongs to you. All of our praises belong, all of our praises belongs to you. We give you all the glory, we give you all the glory, Lord. The glory, all yes. the honor belongs to you. All of the glory belongs to you. You deserve it, Lord. You deserve it. Tell it. Oh, you deserve it. You deserve it, Lord. You deserve it. Oh, you deserve it. You deserve it, Lord. 
take no credit for nothing. We gave all the glory to you. Jesus. We glorify your name. There is none like you. I worship you. Almighty God. There is none like you.
Father, this evening we just want to worship you. We want to thank you because there's none like you. We praise you. We adore you. As we go into this time of prayer, we thank you because your Holy Spirit is present with us. You will lead us to pray in the way we should pray. You say sometimes we do not know how to pray as we ought to, but the Holy Spirit helps us in this area of our lives to be able to do well in praying your will. Father, we bless you. We glorify you and we adore you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Uh, good evening. Welcome to our Wednesday service uh, prayer time. Uh, normally, we have a refuel service, but uh, for some time, we are beginning to go into a time of prayer when um, we will uh, just pray about the issues of our day. We just want God to be uh, a part of everything that is happening in our day. We want to invite him. And one of the ways we can invite God into our situation and our circumstance is through the instrumentality of prayer. So this evening, I just want us to pray. There are some th certain things we'll start praying about concerning, um, concerning uh, our message on Sunday, race, relations, and reconciliation. And I want uh, to start with a brief summary of some of the things that I think we need and ought to pray about. Um, I want us to understand that two main things that came out of that, of that message on Sunday, was us being the salt and us being the light of the world. And that the church is the only institution that has the uh, uh, ingredients or the ability or the grace to be able to bring about a solution to the issues of our time when it concerns race, uh, justice, uh, equity, and human dignity. All right? So I just want us to just start praying this evening. I want us to start praying this evening. I just want us to just start praying for the church. Just pray for the church. Um, and before, and in starting to pray, praying for the church, in starting to pray for the church, I want us to just start, you know, asking God, God, just forgive us for all our trespasses that we have uh, 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 gone through in one way or the other, right? Because we heard of how uh, the church was part of the signatories, or the church put its stamp of approval on slavery, on human indignity. So let's just begin to pray for the church and just begin to ask God and tell God, God, help us. Thank you for even opening our eyes to the fact that, you know, we, we as a church, we as your body, have not done well in the past. We have not shown, uh, we, we have not shown dignity to human beings the way you have desired that dignity should be shown to human beings. Therefore, Father, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you for our church. Thank you for opening our eyes on Sundays to the fact that we have been, uh, as a church, or the Church of Jesus Christ has been, or has given a stamp of approval to the uh, indis in indignity that has happened to, human, to the human race to slavery and all those ind indignity. And we use the church as a camouflage to endorse some of these things. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because you are opening our eyes. You are helping us to see the iniquities of the past. And when you help us to see the iniquities of the past is that we should not drop into the same pit or we should not walk in the same way that our, our, our predecessors have walked. Therefore, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because you will lead our steps. You will guide our footsteps, O God to be able to go well and do well in the area of racial reconciliation and human dignity. That in our own way, in our own thoughts, in our own words, in our own activity, oh God, we thank you because human dignity will take front place. It will be front and center. We will know how to talk to people. We will know how to deal with people, how to relate with people the way Jesus related with people. Father, we thank you and we bless you because Jesus is our model. Jesus is our example. And therefore, this afternoon, in the name of Jesus, we open our hearts to you, O God. We open our hearts to the Holy Spirit, that you will teach us your ways. You will help us understand your ways when it comes to relating with one another. We thank you. Your word declares, like Paul said, he said, henceforth, we don't know any man after the flesh. Father, help us not to know a man after the flesh, but help us to know, O God, that there's dignity in every man, that your spirit, your image, and your likeness is embedded in every human being that has crossed that that has come across this face of the face of the universe father we thank you and we bless you we glorify you in the name of jesus 
Thank you, O oh God, for opening our eyes. Father, this afternoon we resolve, this evening we resolve in our hearts, O oh God, that we will not fall into the same mistakes of the past in the name of Jesus. But we are moving on into what your reality wants us to do, O oh God. That is to be able to bring reconciliation. You say you have given us the ministry of reconciliation. Therefore, Father, in the name of Jesus, we begin to appropriate this ministry in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. We glorify you and adore you. We exalt you. Thank you, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Uh, from John, uh, the book of John, uh, let's look at, uh, no, sorry, Luke. Look at what Luke said. Luke 14, uh, Luke 14, 35, 34 to 35. It just talks about us being the salt of the earth. And on Sunday, we understand that we are the salt of the earth. We are the salt of the earth. And one thing that we came to understand about being the salt of the earth is that as salt, we are preservatives. All right? We are what? Preservatives. So this evening, I know that in God's agenda, God wants us to preserve his legacy for the human race. It is only the church that will do it. Unfortunately, sometimes our economic, political, and social persuasions begin to you know, influence the way we deal with people, we deal with one another. But this evening, we just want to say, God, we sacrifice our political persuasions. Yes. We sacrifice our economic persuasions. Yes. We sacrifice our social inclinations yes. on the altar of Jesus Christ. Yes, on the altar of Jesus Christ. Yes. That no longer will our political persuasions or economic persuasions begin to lead us away from being the salt of the earth that God wants us to be. So lift up your voices this evening and begin to say, God, in the name of Jesus, open my eyes. Open the eyes of my understanding. Help me to be able to know and to realize that I am the salt of the world, of the earth, that you declared concerning me. Now, not my brother, not my sister, but concerning me. You said it specifically that you are the salt of the earth. Therefore, I put myself in that position and I declare that I am the salt of the earth. Just like Jesus declared that you are the salt of the earth, I embrace this mission in the name of Jesus and I declare that I am the salt of the earth. I come to preserve God's legacy in the affairs of men in the name of Jesus. That Jesus is exalted in every man and in every, every, every situation that they are in. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you and I bless you. I glorify you and I exalt you. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for what you are. Thank you for making me the salt of the earth. And I take on this ministry in the name of Jesus. And I thank you because by the ability of your Holy Spirit and by the presence of, your, of, of you, O oh God, I'll be able to fulfill and walk in this ministry. And I begin to declare that I am the salt of the earth. I am the salt in my place of work. I am the salt in my family. I am the salt to my children. I am the salt to my neighbor and my friends. I am salt everywhere I go in the name of Jesus. And I'm preserving the legacy of God concerning every man and every woman that I come across in the name of Jesus. I thank you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, because you help me, O oh God, to reveal the beauty in men, to reveal the beauty of God that is resident in every man. Father, I give you praise and I give you glory. I bless and I glorify you. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Now, what Jesus said, he said, he mentioned something. He said, if the salt loses his taste. In other words, it is possible for us to lose our taste. But this evening, you are not going to lose your taste. In the name of Jesus, your taste is going to be preserved. Your taste is going to satisfy other people. In the name of Jesus. That's why the Bible says, it says oh, come and taste and see that the Lord is good. It is in tasting what God has in your life that men will begin to see the goodness of God. So this evening, I just, I just begin to ask you in the name of Jesus, just lift up your hands and begin to say, God, in the name of Jesus, I will not lose my taste. I will be that taste that you have made in the name of Jesus. You have created me to be a taste for the world, that the world will come and taste and see your goodness because I am the salt of the earth. I am the salt of the earth and I thank you, O God, because your taste is remaining in me in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you and I glorify you. I bless your holy name. Thank you for I am the salt of the earth. Thank you, O God, for I am the salt that you have created to bring about tastes and savor, O God, to your people and to the world in the name of Jesus. Father, we just pray for your church also that the church will not lose its taste, O God, in the name of Jesus. That by the presence of your Holy Spirit, by the power of your Holy Spirit, by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, the church will be that salt and will not lose its taste in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. We glorify you and we exalt you in the name of Jesus 
we have prayed. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Hallelujah. If you read 2 Kings, 2 Kings 2, uh, 20 to 22, it's the story of Elijah and how he, he went to a river and God said, you know, God instructed him to uh, um, uh, uh, change the blessing on a river. All right? And what did he use? What did Elijah use to, to change the fortune of the river? It was salt. So he took the salt, put it there, and the fortunes and all that that river began to produce was different. All right? So when we say, the, when, when we say that uh, you are a preservative, that you are a savor, all right, that you are a flavor, what we are saying also that as salt, God has called us to bring about healing and restoration to humanity. So just lift up your voices this evening and begin to just praise God. Just thank him that God has counted you worthy and faithful enough to call you salt so that you can bring healing and deliverance to the world, especially in the area of racial reconciliation and human dignity. That by you, everything and your conversation and everything that you do, God will be glorified. The name of the Lord will be exalted. Everything that you do will flow from that place of healing in the name of Jesus. Because there's healing in, in the salt. There's healing in you because God has made you salt. He called you salt and therefore there's healing in us. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, O oh God, that you have made us salt of the earth and one of the, part of one of the activities of, of, the, of the salt is healing, O oh God. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, we declare, O oh God, that we, have, we bring healing and, and, and restoration. We bring healing and deliverance to our generation in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the church of Jesus Christ that is healing the world in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you and we glorify you. We thank you, O oh God, because the church is coming to a place where we become healing, oh God, complete healing and complete, uh, uh, complete restoration to people in the name of Jesus. Thank you, oh God, for men and women. They run to the church and in the name of Jesus, they find healing. In the name of Jesus, they find deliverance. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We glorify you and we bless you. We exalt your holy name. Thank you for the healing power of God that is present in us, O oh God, in the church, especially in the area of race and reconciliation. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, O oh God, because every human being has dignity. Every human being has dignity because the church is showing the way and the path to dignity in the name of Jesus. Thank you for every human being, O oh God, who is beginning to realize and, recon and reconcile themselves to the fact that we are all one, we are created in the image and in the likeness of God. And we thank you, O oh God, because when they come to church, they find their place in church. In the name of Jesus, those who are broken, they find their place in church. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for the healing that is going on. We thank you for the healing that is present. We thank you for the healing, O oh God, that will continue to be made manifest from your church. Father, we bless you, we glorify you, and we thank you. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. One of the ways that we can become salt that Paul tells us is in Colossians 4, verse 6. Paul said that our words should be seasoned with salt. He said we should, we should be seasoned with, I mean, our words should be filled with grace, seasoned with salt. Our words should be filled with grace, seasoned with salt. What does that mean? It means that one of the ways that we are able or God has destined us to create salt, to be salt, is through the words that we speak. And if you know one thing that has happened in the world is that one of the most dangerous things is our tongue. The Bible says the tongue is a deadly evil. It says it can put a nation on fire. All right? It can, cause the, it, can, it can make the cause of nature. It can put it out of course. He said the tongue is a deadly and unruly evil. So what are we saying? That God, help me, because one of the ways I can become salt is through the words that I speak. It's through my words being salted, my words being, being filled with grace and seasoned with salt. So just begin to lift, lift up your voices. Begin to pray. Begin to pray for yourself first. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just pray for myself. And I pray for everyone that is listening to me, that is hearing me, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Everyone that is praying with me, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. That you help us to be able to tame our tongue in the name of Jesus. Because one of the ways that uh, 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 racial tensions has been, uh, has been fired all over the world is through the instrumentality of the tongue. It's through words. Father, we thank you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, because you have given us a, the tongue of a ready writer, O oh God, that will be able to bring peace and joy to our world and to our listeners. 
in the name of Jesus. I present my tongue, O God, before you tonight in the name of Jesus. It is one of the instruments to which I can become the salt of the world. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I thank you because my words begin to manifest the purpose of the salt for which you have made me. In the name of Jesus. I pray for my families, for my family, O God, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, O God, because our words are seasoned with salt, O God, in the name of Jesus. I pray for the families in our church, O God, in the name of Jesus, that our words are filled with salt, O God, in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you, O God, in the name of Jesus, that you help us within our individual families to be able to allow our conversations to one another, the way we relate to one another, the way we talk to one another, the way we teach one another, the way we inspire one another to be seasoned with salt, O God, in the name of Jesus. Because it starts from the church, it starts from the home, O God, and we know that when those words are not taken care of from the home, O God, it goes outside and becomes a, a, a deadly evil, O God. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, O God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because we are presenting our tongue before you this afternoon, we, this evening, O God. We thank you, O God, because you take total control of our tongue, take total control of our minds and our thinking and our hearts, O God, in the name of Jesus. Help us to be able to renew our minds, O God. You said for a good man, out of the good things that are in his heart, good things flow out. And you said for an evil man, out of the evil that is resident in his heart, evil things flow out. But this evening, we are asking you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you fill our hearts with good things. These good things are your word, O oh God. That our hearts will fill with your word to the brim, O oh God. That when we open our mouth and our tongue to speak and to say something to one another, there will be words of edification. There will be words that will inspire. There will be words that will encourage. In the name of Jesus, that salt will be made manifest, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, there will be words that will heal. There will be words that will restore. There will be words that will deliver. There will be words that will bring people from the area of despair into a place of inspiration. In the name of Jesus, I present my tongue and my heart before you this evening in the name of Jesus, and I thank you, God, because you are taking total control of my heart. You are taking total control of my mouth. You are taking total control of my understanding, oh God, in the name of Jesus. I thank you because you are filling me with good things. You are filling me up with good things, oh God. And out of the abundance of these good things that is present in my heart, oh God, good things are flowing out of my mouth. In the name of Jesus. I thank you, oh God, because you know my heart and you know the heart of everyone. But oh God, we thank you because you are the one that changes human hearts. You are the one that changes human uh, perspective and the way we look at things and the way we do things. Father, we thank you that that salt that you want us to be, that salt that you have made us to be, that healing that you want us to bring, oh God, you will help us to be able to make it manifest through the instrumentality of our mouth, our voice, and the words that proceed from our hearts. Father, we thank you and we bless you. We glorify you. We exalt you. We, we bless you for all that you are doing, oh God. Thank you, oh God. Father, we glorify you. Oh, hallelujah. Father, we thank you. One last thing I want to pray about. The Bible tells us in, uh, in Luke 14, 34, it, tell, it tells us, it says, it, says, it says, this salt is good. To be a salt is good. If, as Christians, we decide, uh, I mean, we're not salt, then uh, we're, we're not uh, holding on to what God wants us to be. He said, salt is good. And because salt is good, it is desirable. Anything that is good is desirable. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I just want us to pray this evening. It's not just enough to just pray that God open my heart, open my uh, understanding. God will do that if you do it. But are you desiring to be sought? So this evening, we are going to pray for our own desires. That God, you are going to help my desires. Help me to desire to, do, to like good. The good that the salt brings. Help me to desire it, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Help my heart to desire it. I desire this good. I desire to be salt. I desire to walk as a salt. I desire to conduct my conversation as a salt. In the name of Jesus, as salt. I desire to, convert, to, 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 to make my conversation and my walk be seasoned with salt. In the name of Jesus. Help my heart, O oh God. Help my desire, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Create in me, O oh God, a desire to want to be salt, to want to do good, to want to desire this good, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, oh God, because you create a desire in me. You create a desire in us as a church. You create a desire in us as the body of Christ, in the name of Jesus, 
to desire this good that the salt is to the world. Father, we thank you, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you, we glorify you, that our circumstances will not interfere, oh God, with our desire to want this salt. Our, our, our situations will not, will not interfere. Our political inclinations will not interfere, oh God, in the name of Jesus. But we'll see every man just the way Jesus is seeing them. Father, in the name of Jesus, we will walk with every man just the way Jesus will walk with them. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, O God. We bless you and we glorify you, O God, in the name of Jesus. Help us, O God, to be able to remove the speck, if there's any, to be able to remove the log if there's any in our eyes. Before we can see the speck in other, one, in other people's eyes, O God. Father, we bless you and we glorify you. We thank you, O God. You create in us a hunger, a desire to be salt, to walk as salt, to be healing and restoration to people, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and we glorify you that from now on, our work will be different. Our conversations will be different. Our interests will be different when it comes to people in the name of Jesus. That we desire to do justice, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. That we desire to, to, to accord every man the dignity that God created them with, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. That we will desire to lift every man up, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. That we will desire to love every man just as you have loved us, O God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, O God. There's a fire that is welling up on our inside, that is boiling up on our inside, O God, to desire to do good, to be salt to the world, O God. We thank you and we bless you. Thank you, O God, because we will not lose our taste, O God, in the name of Jesus. But we will retain our taste, we will, mani we will manifest and minister our taste, O God, to the world, O God, in the name of Jesus. That at the end of the day, it will, it will be said of us that we, God was tasted from us. That we showed God, we represented God, we did that which God desired for us to do. Father, we bless you and we glorify you. We thank you. Thank you, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Father, we just want to thank you this afternoon. Thank you for opening our eyes, O oh God, to the mistakes of the past. And by that, O oh God, you are also opening our eyes to the direction of the future. Help us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus as a church, as your body, not to repeat the mistake of the past, but to begin to do, O oh God, and to desire, O oh God, to manifest that which you, want us, which you want us to do, which is that every man deserves justice. Every man deserves fairness. Every man deserves dignity because you have created every man in your image and in your likeness. Father, we thank you and we bless you. We glorify you. Thank you for helping us being salt. Thank you for calling us to be salt. Thank you for helping us to bring healing and restoration and deliverance. Thank you for helping us to be able to preserve your legacy in men and in women that we come across. Father, we give you praise and we glorify you. We adore you. Thank you, O oh God, for everything you are doing in your church. Thank you for the new things, O oh God, that are happening in us. O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for changing our hearts and our minds. Thank you, O oh God, for restoring your peace and your joy in us, O oh God. Father, we thank you, O oh God, because you are helping us to be able to walk in the reality that we are your people. And we are to bring people, other people, to you, O oh God. We are to show them who you are. Other people are supposed to read us. Paul says it this way. He says it nicely, this way. He says, we are the epistle of Jesus Christ that is reading, that is read by other people. Therefore, Father, in the name of Jesus, as salt, we become the epistles of Jesus Christ that are read by the world, O God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, O God, because our conversations in our family is seasoned with salt, O God, in the name of Jesus. Father, our conversation privately and publicly is seasoned with salt, O God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because our conversations, O God, you are helping us to bring it to a place where it is bringing upliftment. It is bringing deliverance and redemption to men, O God. Father, we bless you and we glorify you. Thank you, O God, for what you are doing with us. Thank you for what you will continue to do with us as a church. Father, we align ourselves with your will and your purpose and your counsel for this season, O God, in the name of Jesus. Father, that we become your mouthpiece, O God, in the name of Jesus, to bring about reconciliation, to bring about peace, O God, to bring about uh, uh, the, the people uh, uh, deriving or, 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 or figuring out what it is that you have called them to do because they have met Jesus through us. Father, we bless you and we glorify you. We, also, we, we, we glorify you. We lift you up, O oh God. Thank you for being the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And we know that, Father, in no way and in no circumstance and at no time will anyone take your place. And your purpose and your counsel that all men are created by you. Your purpose and your counsel that all men should come to you, O oh God, will be made manifest through us in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your church. 
We thank you for you are purifying your church, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. You are changing your church, O oh God, because your word declares that you are coming back for a church without spot or wrinkle. We thank you for every spot and every wrinkle is being taken away, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. And there is a, a spotlessness, O oh God, concerning your people when it comes to race and reconciliation, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. And in every area of our lives, we thank you and we bless you. Thank you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We are growing, we are maturing, we are increasing, we are manifesting that which you want us to manifest. We are being who you want us to be, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, that everyone that is listening to me tonight, everyone that is praying with me tonight, O oh God, they are changing, they are increasing, they are improving in how they are seeing you and seeing other people, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, that men, we are not seeing men as trees, we are not seeing men as other things, but we are seeing men in the image and in the likeness of God. Father, we thank you and we bless you, we glorify you. Father, we thank you, O oh God, because we know, O oh God, that you are still in the business of restoration and healing. And tonight, we align ourselves with your business, O oh God. Just like Jesus said, we, we are occupying until you come. We are staying in our place. We are standing in our position in the name of Jesus. And we are fulfilling the mission of being the salt of the earth. We give you praise and we thank you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you. God bless you. Uh, thank you for joining us this Wednesday evening. And um, we'll see you on Sunday for our celebration service and the continuation of our uh, series on race uh, relation and reconciliation. God bless you.